So if something were going to be for $10, the word for 10 is the yes. Again, this is an S sound, and that's like a the. The yes. And then the English word for dollar, or the Spanish word for dollar is like the English word dollar, stressed on the first syllable. Dólar for one, and dólares for more than one. You want to be careful with this because dolores are pains. Dollars are desirable, pains are not. So you want to say dólares, dólares, diez dólares. So something for ten dollars would be por diez dólares. Now this one, they, pronounced similar to the English word they, as in they say, they, little shorter e, they, and it means of, from, and you can think of it as the describing preposition because in Spanish you cannot put two nouns together as you would in English and have it make sense. For example, let's say we're going to talk about books, libros. To say children's, or niños, children's books, you can't take children and then say books. It doesn't make sense in Spanish. You have to say books of children or books for children. You have to say the main noun, the thing you're talking about first, then say one of these words, describing words, functional words, and then the noun that describes it. So, a Spanish book is not Espanol libro, makes no sense. It's libro de Espanol, book of Spanish. In a way, it's more poetic. You can't say orange juice, you have to say juice of orange. You can't say cheesecake, you have to say cake of cheese. Same thing here. If you want to say English book, you must say book of English. Libro de inglés. Now the most, most of the time that you're describing things, you will use para, intended for, and de. If you can get a handle on this word here, you will much improve your Spanish. So, de, de niños, of children, de usted, can mean belonging to you. If I put somebody's name here, let's put Ana. If it's Ana's book, again, Ana's a noun, so I can't say Ana's libro, it doesn't make any sense. It sounds like there's more than one Ana, two Anas, and then book, and the concepts aren't related at all. I have to say, book of Ana, libro de Ana, and that means Ana's book. Let's put another example, and then we'll talk about some of these books. Mañana, Mañana again, the, the N with the wavy line called a tilde is like the NY of Canyon, and the plain N is just N. Mañana, and you want to be sure to, to say the N Y sound when there is a tilde, tilde as it does sometimes make an important difference in meaning. Mañana. So for tomorrow, something intended for tomorrow would be para mañana. Tomorrow's class, clase de mañana. Class of Spanish, Spanish class, clase. And we'll have clase here too. Clase de Español, class of Spanish or Spanish class. Class for class of children, clase de niños. Um, English class, clase de inglés. What if you just wanted to say class in English? Then it would be clase en inglés. Class in Spanish, clase en español. With these functional words and describing nouns, you can create all sorts of possible meanings.